Installing a fresh copy of Windows can be a real annoying task. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to slipstream installations so that they're almost completely automated. The program I'm going to be using in this tutorial is called VLite, found at vlite.net. But that's because I'm doing a Windows Vista installation, so I'm going to download and install VLite. If you're going to do an XP installation disk, you want to go to inlightos.com and install it. And then just run the application, and the first time you run it, you'll probably see this dialog box, which uh, has you install an ISO file to your computer. So just download that. It'll probably take a while because it's a large file. And then I'm just going to use 7-zip to extract the ISO file once it's through downloading. And uh, just open up the file once you've got it extracted, and you'll see a startcd.exe program in there. And just double click on that to start the installation. And you want to install it to the program files vlite folder or the inlite folder if you're doing XP. And then just once it's through, just go into that folder program files vlite tools x86 and then find the wemgapi.dll file and copy and paste that into the main vlite or inlite folder and now once you restart the vlite program it should work correctly now you want to click browse and navigate to where your windows xp or windows vista dvd is and uh, and then create a folder to copy all the files to and click OK and it should start copying all the files. When it's through just click next and you'll see this list of different checkbox options. Sometimes if you're not using an OEM CD you'll see an option to slipstream service packs and you can download the service packs from the internet and have them automatically installed with your new uh, Windows installation. And it's the same thing for hot fixes. You can download hot fixes or updates from the internet. Uh, a good way to download all of them at once is if you go to windowsupdatesdownloader.com and download and install their program. And they have a list on their website of different updates that you can then download and it, and it will automatically open with their program. And you can download all the different updates for Windows XP or Windows Vista, Windows 2003, different things like that. And then once they're through downloading, you can go back to the VLite program and add them. And it's the same thing for drivers. If you want to automatically install drivers, you can go to drivemax.com and they have a program that's similar to the one we just looked at. It compiles all the drivers on your computer, drivers for your printer, for your USB devices, for your joysticks, for your video cards, and you can just check all those and have them automatically installed so that you don't have to rerun the software on your new Windows installation. And then once you've got them all compiled, you can just insert them using the VLite program. And then just click next and it has compatibility options if you want it to run Aero, uh, Internet Explorer, Halo 2, uh, different things like that. And then you can also un uh, check the components that you don't want installed. And then next you can do uh, different tweaks. On this page here, this is an unintended setup, which means it doesn't ask you any questions during the setup. You can automatically enter your product key and uh, uh, user information, and that way it doesn't ask you any questions during the setup. And then in this step, you can create an ISO image or burn it to a CD or DVD. But before we do that, I want to show you this program found at WPIW.net. It allows you to add your own custom programs to the Windows Vista installation uh, so that it automatically installs them. I just extracted it to my Windows Vista folder and opened up the install folder and drug all the programs that I want installed into that folder. Now if I launch the WPI application, I can then add all those programs and put them in what order I want them in installed and under the controls I'm going to click add to add the program and under this command option I'm going to put slash Q in which makes it install without asking any questions. Now if you go to the help option on the website it has uh, different scripts one for XP uh, one for Windows 2003 and one for Vista that you can download and put in your Windows Vista files so that it automatically runs this when Windows is through installing. 
and it has a different uh, a, a folder string um, that it shows you. It's the OEM dollar sign scripts folder string and it, it tells you that whenever you download it and then you can just copy that script into the folder. And now whenever you're through with that you can uh, then make your ISO image and burn it to a CD or DVD. So whenever I installed it and ran it, the only question that it asked me during this installation was the hard drive question, that one right there. And then that was it. After that, it, it, uh, about an hour later, I saw the desktop without any other questions asked and it started installing the programs. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.